Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, I will be showing you some of the top iPad Cydia tweaks for the year 2013. Now, just like my other top tweaks videos, this will be an ongoing series for tweaks specifically for the iPad. Our first tweak is known as Emblem. Now, Emblem brings OS X inspired notifications to the iPad with gorgeous animations and a whole new native design. Now, as animations pop into your device, you have the option to tap and hold and swipe over to the right to dismiss the animation. Or you have the option to go ahead and tap on it, and it will take you directly to that app that is specific. Now, as you receive three or more notifications at once, they will be grouped into one group notification, where you can easily swipe over to the right to see each notification individually. And then once you are done viewing each message specifically, you can go ahead and tap and hold and swipe over to the right to dismiss it. Our next tweak is known as NC Pad. Now this is a simple tweak that makes notification banners use up the full width of the screen on the iPad. It works both in portrait and landscape mode, and there's no settings to configure. Now as each notification pops in, rather than being centered directly in the middle of the iPad, it will take up the full width of the iPad both in portrait and in landscape, so you can read the entire message both for Facebook, Twitter, iMessage, just any notification, rather than opening up the message itself. Mountain Center adds notification experience from OS X Mountain Line directly to your device. Now with it, you will be able to reveal the notification center both from the right or the left, rather than swiping it down from the top of your iPad. Now you can customize the number of fingers for how you swipe over and the sensitivity of it. Now you can also stretch the banners out to full screen mode if you would wish, and this does not require NC Pad as it is built in directly into Mountain Center. So like I said before, you can customize the notification center both on the left or the right to your liking. Springtomize 2 is a must-have city tweak for your iPad as it allows you to customize your springboard to make it look and feel how you want it to be. Now this will provide you with plenty of options to customize it such as your animations, your dock, your lock screen. One common thing for the dock is the cover flow effect and enabling it just is a simple toggle switch and after you enable each setting you will have to do a simple respring and at the bottom you will take notice as your dock icons are now in that cover flow effect. Now some of the customizations also include the app switcher, the folders, the icons allowing you to customize your label along with your label icon as well. And hiding these different features or these user interface features can easily be accomplished within Springtomize. Safari Download Manager is an extension that adds a download manager to your iDevices web browser. With it you will be able to download MP3s, videos, and pictures at the touch of a button. Now each download target will be displayed in this pop-up uh, window and clicking on the downloaded target will take us to our next tweak known as iFile but this is a supportive third-party app that can be downloaded in City as well that allows you to view the playback both as videos, mp3s, or pictures. Now iFile is a powerful tweak that allows you to browse the native file structure of your iOS device. With it you will be able to see some of the downloaded things or targets that you have downloaded to your iDevice browsing the native file structure to search for those specific things. So you can search for different pictures, videos that are on your device or you can actually browse to, into Apple's native file structure viewing its pictures, some of the user interface sounds and some of the PNG images that you can use for your liking. Full Force is a city tweak that forces applications to show full screen iPad mode even if the developer hasn't certified them. So in the settings you can go ahead and configure both from your system applications and your user applications and enable them via a toggle. And although some of the user interfaces might be changed here such as Instagram, the buttons at the bottom and some of the top are a little messed up, the pictures will now be increased to the iPad format which is mainly what you want to see if you are viewing Instagram pictures on your iPad. Our last but certainly not least city tweak is known as Retina Pad. Now this will allow you to enable Retina Display for the iPhone apps running on the iPad. Now this is how 2x mode should have been when Apple has created it. So such as Instagram here, no longer will you have the little mini display of the iPhone, but it will be increased to the full iPad support. Now this video doesn't really justify how the pixel density has been increased from the non 
uh, retina display back up to this retina display on your iPad as each word and picture has been significantly increased as you would see it on an iPhone. So this, this will work for Instagram which has not been updated to support the iPad or such as weather here. No longer will you see the fugsy or non-pixelated um, images or text format as it has all been increased to really enable that retina display for the iPhone apps that should be running on the iPad. So guys, this concludes some of the top iPad Cydia tweaks for the year 2013. Make sure you go ahead and check out some of the top Cydia tweaks for the iPhone as well, as I will leave all the links in the description for your liking. Anyways guys, thanks for watching.